you're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is KT News, Macau. After more than a week of restrictions and suspension on schools, nursery, social service facilities, as well as various activities and events around town, due to the recent spike of local COVID-19 cases, local schools, which went online for about a week, as well as nurseries and social service facilities, are scheduled to be back on normal operations starting tomorrow. Local government has announced, after first reassuring, that the local COVID situations are back under control. However, the government has warned that should there be a further increase in the number of cases, suspension may have to be put back in place. Meanwhile, after imposing quarantine on those coming from Macau recently, Zhuhai has lifted quarantine while imposing mandatory vaccine on anyone entering via Macau checkpoints, effective tomorrow. In addition, a 48-hour nucleic acid test negative result must be presented. However, people with yellow or red health codes, staff in high-risk positions working at quarantine hotels, as well as hospital staff who treat COVID-19 patients are barred from entering the neighbouring city, Zhuhai authorities have pointed out. Hong Kong, on the other hand, still maintains the temporary suspension on its quarantine exemption scheme for those arriving from Macau. Even after the second mass COVID test on Macau's entire population has returned with all negative results. The number of COVID cases in Macau currently stands at 71. The local police has warned all members of general public or fraudsters posing as health staff, urging everyone not to give out personal data to these phone scammers. In sports, congratulations to Kwok Kin Hang for winning Macau's first ever medal, a bronze at the National Games Men's Karate Skata event recently. Meanwhile, the Macau International Marathon is set to take place on the 5th of December. And some flash news around the world. Three house cats in Harbin, the mainland, have been put to sleep after testing positive for COVID-19. China has reportedly ruled all crypto transactions illegal, causing the value of Bitcoin to fall, according to the UK's Daily Mail. A two-year-old boy fell to his death from a Yaomate building in Hong Kong recently, and his Indonesian mother was detained on suspicion of child abuse. A man from Indonesia recently made headlines after he married a rice cooker. Photos of the wedding ceremony shared on Twitter by user at Lagidiruma have since gone viral showing the groom, Khoirul Anam, who was wearing all white while holding his wife, supposedly the rice cooker. And as for the local weather, the coming week is predicted to be mainly cloudy with some sunny periods and a few showers, with temperature ranging from 25 to 33 degrees Celsius. Wednesday and Thursday are expected to be particularly very hot. And for more information on the weather in Macau, visit www.smg.gov.mo. Back to our music, this is CDB with After the Laugh Has Gone. Continue to listen to Kumbang Channel. Kumbang, kumpul bareng yuk.